मैम प्लीज स्टार्ट अरविंद कुमार प्रिंसिपल साइंटिस्ट एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन फ्रॉम आई सी आर एग्रीकल्चर टेक्नोलॉजी एप्लीकेशन रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट लुधियानाजेंटिंग lecture on testing and demonstration of technology theory and practices before that i would like to introduce him uh, dr arvin uh, did his bachelor's honors from uh, kanpur university and masters and doctorates from icr indian veterinary research institute in, in extension education he was recipient of jrf and srf during his masters and doctoral program Uh, he has having a 25 years of experience in teaching research and extension system including 5 years of experience in management of kvk system he taught various courses in extension education to undergraduate postgraduate and doctoral student and guided six master students P- published more than 50 research papers in national and international journals who authored five books and contributed several chapters he also published many technical bulletin as well as manual he is recipient of many award including the prestigious nanaji deshmukh icr award for outstanding interdisciplinary team research in agriculture and allied sciences from icr and currently he is handling more than 6 project at national level so welcome dr arvin to this gathering and over to you sir Tolerable. Sir, uh, mic, please unmute your mic. Sir, your mic is muted. Sir, please unmute your mic. Hello. Sir, at the bottom of the screen, there is a mic icon. Please click on that. and now you can hear yeah, me yes yes sir, yes, sir. okay so please continue uh just just a minute okay so please unmute your mic yeah. sir it is actually you have not joined it from the co-host account we have isko maximum our presentation will be ha isko ye kar do research okay now it is visible yes sir yes, please start am i audible yes sir okay thank you dr prakya and organizer for uh, <coughs> inviting me to share our experience on uh, <coughs> these uh, theory and practices so actually uh, you know there are <coughs> technologies generated by the research system agriculture university horticulture university and all uh, veterinary science universities and icr institutes and there are other uh, private organizations they are also generating the technologies that is research system and the technology may go directly to the extension system that is uh, <laughs> department of agriculture animal husbandry forestry all these line departments who are working in the district so it may go directly to them Uh, extension system so uh, it was realized that uh, it may not be 
technology may not be feasible or may not work efficiently if it goes directly. Some technologies may work, but there are several technologies which doesn't work. That is why there is a need to have test the technology and then upscale it. Only then you <laughs> feed forward to the extension system. So this is uh, the basic premises. So you know why technology testing is essential. So you see the upper uh, environment that is whether it is a crop production or animal husbandry, it is highly complex. So in within one district, you can see there are variations in uh, agroclimatic conditions. So location to location, technology may not work. So we have to test it. Then because of this complexity, the research station which has developed the technology may not be successful when we transfer to the farmer's field. So, <clears throat> so through uh, new locations anywhere in, in the district, we are concentrating here on the KVK district because K KVKs need to do all these things regarding testing and demonstrations. So maybe similar to the research stations, but within the district, you will see the difference uh, from one location to another location. So that actually limit the performance of the technology. So when practice recommended by the research system and extension system not followed in this district, it means some uh, finds that technology may not work therefore they do not actually transfer to the uh, farmers so in such cases we need this one when practices recommended by the research system and extension system also followed it but yields and uh, other uh, economic uh, uh, variables so that actually remains low therefore we have to test it the technology before uh, going for the demonstrations. So technology assessment, basically you see it is, uh, it can be conceptualized as finding out more profitable and sustainable option than the existing one in a given environment. So how we can do, you take one or two technological technologies, which may be tested against the uh, farmer's practice and recommended practice and uh, so we can say this is a, a process or a set of activities before taking up new scientific information for its dissemination in a new production system. So assessment is essential here. So how to do assessment? So we have actually OFT. That is the tool for uh, testing the technology. So it is uh, actually idea which we want to test or a technology we want to test, but it should be tested in farmers' field, in farmers' conditions. By using farmers' own practice as control, it should help to develop innovations consistent with farmers' circumstances, compatible with actual farming system, and corresponding to farmers' goals and preferences. So, so somebody is speaking, I think. Please. Please mute yourself if you are speaking. So, everybody is requested to please mute yourself. Or, madam, you. Please mute yourself. Can mute all of them. He, he is going to use his management, management practices as per the suggestions of the sir, subject matter specialist. Sir, one minute. Thoda rukiye, main zara mute karati hu. Okay, okay. 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 
so so there are actually five stakeholders in this the farmer who is the most important who is going to provide his land for technology testing and uh, echo, uh, with the facilitation or all kinds of guidance from the sms who is going to actually suggest the farmers to test the technology as per the protocol he has suggested the scientist who has developed technology actually the technology somebody has developed he should uh, he is also one of the stakeholders to see whether his technology is working in the field or not then the extension system and government itself you can say so extension system extension system all the department line department which are concerned with the development of whether it is animal husbandry agriculture and allied sectors so all are the stakeholders in this so what are the special features of OFTs? So its focus is to test technologies which might help to solve the problem which is most important and widely spread problem of large number of farmers in an area. So such type of technology should not be taken. Focus should be only on which are affecting the most of the farmers and to large area. Then OFTs are planned, managed, and evaluated by farmers. This should be in mind. Otherwise, scientists themselves conduct the OFT. It should not be there. Actually, it should be planned, managed, and evaluated by farmers themselves at their own farm, not farm of government or station or KVK, with facilitative role only. A scientist can play so it should help to develop innovations consistent with farmers circumstances because whatever the technology you are going to uh, test it it should be consistent and compatible with the farming system in which you are going to then successful technological option must be upscaled when you uh, uh, <coughs> tested the technology or assist the technology if you find that it is a good one then it must be upscaled through the demonstrations in next season. So now the FLD is training mass media may be utilized uh, for uh, disseminating the best technologies and the feedback information on each technology tested through OFT is to be recorded. This is the gist. Um, if you have not recorded, then you might lost the some of the important information and Based on that information, you may recommend to the research system whether it needs modification or refinement or it should go to the farmer's field through the main extension system that is various line departments. So now what are the steps involved in designing an OFT program? So not necessarily all these steps. Uh, maybe more steps if you further break down to these steps. So it is basically guidelines. So first of all, you have to define the objectives, then diagnose the problem, then prioritize and select the problem and identify the locations where you want to test, then select the collaborating farmers, whether he's ready to work with you or not, then develop the protocols for the tes testing the technology and implement and monitor the OFT and finally evaluate it. And so, and find the objectives why you want to actually attach the technology, why you want whether it is going to solve the problem which are existing in the area or not, or what you hope to achieve through this OFT. So, these are some of the basic uh, questions you must keep in mind. Otherwise, there is no need to test. So, then the OFTs accordingly. So, what are the farmer's circumstances? 
uh, what are the uh, you can say farming system prevailing in that latest then identify existing and possible productivity problems then begin to develop hypothesis on possible solutions so once you uh, circumstances that is related to agroclimatic conditions that weather soil topography paste weeds diseases etc so we have to uh, gather the information related to them. and then socioeconomic factors like whether the facility of credit markets import etc and resources whether he has family uh, labor or not so how to identify the farming system so, <laughs> there are various methods we usually do it through data collection whether it is secondary source or primary source and there is method pra methods which are actually once you go to the village and conduct various exercise through uh, using various uh, methods of participatory rural appraisal and you can identify the problem then interview you can conduct the interview local officials or opinion leaders they will give some insight then informal farm survey you can also the farmers interview a structured semi-structured schedule so all these things field observation you can observe yourself then prioritize and select the problem so you have identified you come across the various problems are available there so all problems you are not going to solve so what you, you have to do you have to prioritize the problem and after prioritizing then select one or two problem as per your resources available so first you have to list the problem then rank the problem identify causes of problems and listing possible solutions so how this problem can be solved then how to prioritize as of i already i have already mentioned that problems that causes large productivity loss problem that occurs frequently problems that affects majority of farmers problems affect majority major cultivated area so all if you have gone through the either there is also to be sure that technology will function or not if it not function then you will be in trouble with the farmers your credibility will be at a stake so you should be sure about that then profitability of the technology whether technology is profitable or not compatibility with the existing farming situations whether uh, then contribution to reducing risk whether it the technology going to reduce the risk related to the technology and ease of testing for farmers if you are going to test whether it is a simple or complex one if farmer is unable to test it because of its complexity then you should not take it so th therefore you have to select the farmer who can deal with it then how to actually uh, address the problem uh, oft or fld how we should proceed whether we have to uh, go directly uh, conduct the fld or we should uh, go first oft then fld so there is will always dilemma so we we are going to here uh, provide some of our experience here the experience which may clarify whether you have to go for opt then fld or otherwise so let us say the problem is there so problem can be solved or there may not be solution for the problem the solution may not be available then what you are going to do if you are working in a particular district and you want to solve the problem and you find out that there is no solution for that problem then what you will do you have to then depends upon on 
what are the ITKs, whether we can integrate those ITKs or what are other farmers doing, whether they have developed the innovations, some innovations, then we can use them. So these are the only two ways by which we can counter the problems. If solutions are available, so you know the solutions, where solutions are available, all the uh, research institutions, they are providing the solutions. So the solution sometimes doesn't work. And there are some solutions which work satisfactorily. If solution doesn't work, then what we um, why it is not working? There may be technological problem, inherent problem in the technology which may not solve the problem, or there may be management problem related to that particular technology. So here in two cases, what we have to do conduct the OFT. When the, you are sure that solution you have, it is going to work in your area, then conduct the FLD if farmers agree. If farmer is not agreed, still you have to conduct the FLD in order to convince the farmers. So these are uh, this is the way by which we can proceed. So we can say whether we have to conduct the OFT and FLD whether first OFT and FLD. If there is any problem, you have any doubt, then first you have to test the technology through OFT. Once you have tested the technology, you find it. It is to go for even directly, or everybody knows. That there is a problem of Twenty-fifth September, uh, it started from Amritsar, and then next seventh October, uh, Taran Taran, then again Firozpur, Gurdaspur, and all these districts. So this is actually the major problem here. So we are going to deal with only, or we are taking this example uh, for this uh, uh, for this particular lecture. So. <clears throat> So why actually farmers uh, burn the residue in Punjab? The question arises, why? Then there are certain reasons for that. Because there is a narrow window of sowing next crop. Only uh, 15 to 20 days are available. Once the paddy is harvested, it has to be uh, harvested after uh, within, you can say, 15 to 20 days in the wheat or other crops which are related to vegetable or has to be sown. So if time is not this much, then why? Uh, actually, this problem actually arises due to the technology itself. Because earlier, uh, the paddy was harvested manually. So there was no need to uh, um, go for burning the paddy vegetables. Now, after a paddy harvester or combined, so paddy vegetables are there. And if you do how to manage that one, and within 15 days, 20 days, it is not possible with the traditional practices. So farmer used to burn. So why farmer get only this much time for sowing nest crop? In other parts of the country, barring few, uh, they get uh, more time. So because of cultivation of long duration variety of paddy, when the, there are 25, uh, 15 to 20 days, uh, this variety takes more. So because of yield, higher yield, 
so farmers used to then then second one state governments ban on transplanting patty before 20th june the state government has banned and uh, sometime date changes 25 uh, maybe 20 this year next year maybe 25th so that delays are besting so why state government planting of paddy because there are certain reasons for that because it saves 30 percent of total water uses and huge amount of uh, power required to run 14 lakh agri tube wells to dig out subsoil water for puddling the fields ahead of transplantation so this is the problem that is why government want that uh, a farmer should uh, transplant after uh, 28th june that time i mean can say uh, rain may take place so the what are the solutions the solution for uh, long duration variety we can have short duration varieties so these are the varieties available you can see the uh, pusa 44 uh, took 160 days and uh, other varieties you see from 13 to 37 days they are earlier harvested than the pusa Uh, not uh, there are various methods this is actually from the field there are various for that uh, the can have the two methods punching of trying your next crop without or you can say in the standing intervals of paddy then third option the burning of crop residue farmers used to burn either partially or completely and this solution for them not all farmers but some of the farmers this solution actually they find easy for them so they go for that one so you see direct seeding can be done in this picture, you can say combine harvested fitted with super seeder, uh, super SMS, and happy seeder. Simultaneously, can on the one hand, the harvesting is going on, and uh, happy seeder is uh, uh, sowing the uh, paddy in the standing intervals. So, this is the way by which farmers can do. You can see this video. Okay, so you have seen how simultaneously harvesting and and sowing of wheat is going on. So this solves the problem of a uh, uh, short window of uh, for sowing the next crop in case of wheat. There are other, uh, you can say if you are using vegetable uh, one to cultivate 
potato or vegetables then reversible mb plow is there you can use it then uh, mulcher it actually chopped the paddy vegetables and after that you can use other machinery like happy seeder and zero tail rail you can remove the straw or vegetables from the field and use this zero tail rail so uh, this is actually xc2 for xc2 this machines actually uh, known as baler it uh, collects the extra from the paddy field so it, when it removes you can use uh, happy uh, that zero tail rail by which you can uh, sow the crop next identify the locations once you have identified the problem you have to identify the locations where you are going to uh, test the technology so choose the representative farm locations where the technology will be tested and then decide the number of locations at how many places and uh, within your district four or five places you are going to uh, test the technology and uh, for as uh, earlier i have said for testing the technology or conducting the oft you have to compare it with the farmers technology so farmers practice whatever farmer is practicing is farmer is burning the residue so this is the uh, we can say conventional method he is using so against this we can have other technological options as a happy seeder or removing the uh, <coughs> xc2 method and other options so we have to compare the technological options with the farmers practice so then select the collaborating farmers whom you are going to on whose farm you are going to test this technology so identify farmers who are willing to participate in the oft program and who have the necessary skill resources and equipment to implement the technology then through discussion <coughs> have to be made with the collaborating farmers before start off so you have to thoroughly discuss with the farmers what are going to you are going to do and uh, is there any risk you have to inform in advance so thorough discussion is required then the purpose of uh, oft has to be made clear to the farmers without any scope for doubt otherwise he will <laughs> or he may not trust you in next time so you have clear all the doubts positive and negatives whatever so try to select farmers who have risk bearing ability because <coughs> it is essential the, the crop may fail while you are testing the technology so also collaborating farmers should have good rapport with other farmers it is also essential because if other farmers are well connected with him then other farmers may follow if the technology testing is successful at his farm so <clears throat> this will help free interaction of the neighboring farmers with him and spread the or disseminate the message what you want to convey then develop the protocols protocol means plan develop a detailed plan how to technology will be tested and method for measuring and evaluating its performance so how you are going to <clears throat> measure and evaluate whether in terms of yield or in other terms the data collection you have how you are going to collect the data how you are going to analyze the and how you will do analysis so all the procedures should be clear then implement and monitor oft so for that uh, uh, what an uh, sms can do explore production problems what are the problems related to this during the monitoring test possible solutions then verify recommendations and demonstrate them with farmers so all these are required then finally evaluate and uh, the technology which we have tested you have to evaluate and report to the concern quarter so far then while you are evaluating the technology testing you have tested the technology 
then you have to note the farmer's reaction and opinions and agronomic uh, represent, uh, interpretation and feasibility of that technology if you have you can use the statistical significance it is possible only when number of locations are seven or more and uh, there are three treatment only then it is possible then economic analysis and profitability then ability to solve the problems cause and solution developed during the diagnosis so you have we have to evaluate on these all aspects so technological attribute to be considered while assessing the results and or be compared to the existing local ones what is the local uh, ones so here we can say that uh, they are following uh, a traditional method they burn the crop and uh, uh, follow the uh, conventional method for sowing the wheat that actually how much it cost on the basis of that whether this technology is profitable or not risk is there any risk related to this what is the relative cost and whether it is simple or sustainable of farmer safety and farming system compatibility whether it is compatible to the existing system or not so report the results of OFT program including any recommendations for further development or refinement of the technology so this is uh, you see the happy seeder technology which was actually uh, uh, in punjab through atari all the kvks have tested it uh, two three years and after that only they conducted the demonstration when will they find that it is successful technology then so you can see the opinions and reactions of farmers regarding this this is a video of uh, ਐਚੀ ਸੀਟ ਨਾਲ ਕਣਕ ਦੀ ਬਿਜਾਈ ਕਰੀ ਸੀ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਣਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਖੜੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵਾਹਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਿਨਾਂ ਐਸਐਮਐਸ ਵਾਲੀ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਤੋਂ ਝੋਨਾ ਕਟਾਏ ਤੋਂ ਬਗੈਰ ਰੀਪਰ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਵਾਹਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਰਵਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਤੋੜ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਹਫ਼ਤੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਣਕ ਦੀ ਬਿਜਾਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਐਚੀ ਸੀਟ ਨਾਲ ਕਣਕ ਵਧੀਆ ਬੈਸਟ ਖੜੀ ਆ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਸਪਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਈ ਨਾ ਹੀ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਨਿਆਜ ਪਾਣੀ ਲਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਆ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਕਣਕ ਛੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਲਾਉਗੀ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਤਿੰਨ ਪਾਣੀ ਲਗਾਏ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਬਸ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਵਾਹਨ ਨਾਲ ਦੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਨਮੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਸਪਰੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਕੀ ਪਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਖਰਚਾ ਬਚ ਗਿਆ ਵਾਹ ਵਜਾਈ ਬਚ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਦਾ ਵਾਤਾਵਰਨ ਖੁਸ਼ ਟੋਂਡ ਵਾਜ ਜੂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ 7 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਐਪੀ ਸੀਟਰ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਪਰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਰਾਲੀ ਨੂੰ ਝੋਲੇ ਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਗ ਲਗਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ 4 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਖੇਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਗ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਗਾਈ ਔਰ ਸਾਡਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਤਜਰਬਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਅੱਛੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਵਰਤਣ so so you have seen this video and reactions of few farmers uh, for uh, more you can say reaction or feedback you can go for our uh, youtube channel of this atari you will find several videos regarding this so what are the uh, points you have to consider while designing the ofts so do not plant too big an oft uh, be realistic 
because if uh, if you are going to make it complex then it will be fail it should be simple one so have a well defined problem that can be clearly understood by farmers and answered by your approach what you how you are going to solve that problem do not add so many sub treatments sometimes people say let us say we have to study this one also that one also you should not be go for that ultimately your purpose is different purpose is the particular problem you want to solve how it can be solved so there should not be more than two treatment and of course one is of farmers practice then do not use fancy statistics to confuse yourself and collaborating farmers farmers are not concerned with the statistics they are concerned net return how they are getting when they are following their own practice and how much they are getting after your advice or your uh, after doing this uh, uh, testing then you see this is the new technology super seeder came into the market after uh, seeing this and uh, some of the farmers they do not uh, use uh, happy seeder because they see the field is not clean uh, there are still stubbles there so they have to actually they want actually this is a matter of perception they want their field should be clear one so this new technology came into the market it is purely developed by the uh, private So you have seen this technology, very good field, you can see. But this technology was not uh, uh, thoroughly tested in the field. So last year, there was heat wave, or you can say one week before, uh, the uh, because of temperature rising, or uh, uh, and due to that, uh, uh this is the yield so you can see this graph and uh, there is a study conducted by this institute and you can find out uh, you can download from the website and there so what are the major result actually so the impact what was the impact of yield on conventional happy seeder and super seeder because of uh, rise in temperature so this is graph by which you can see so you see there was reduction in yield when we see conventional method and those farmers who have followed the conventional method 14 percent reduction was noticed in case of happy seeder 10 percent reduction was noticed and super seeder it was 12 percent so you see least impact was on happy cedar why there are several reasons for that so you can for further detail go for this uh, document which is available on our website now you see this year in march uh, 15 to 20 uh, uh, 15 march 15 onwards uh, there was unseasonal rain and uh, due to uh, speed of wind what happened to that so you can see the field ਮੇਰਾ ਹੈਪੀ ਸੀਟਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਚਾ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਕਣਕ ਸਾਰੀ ਖੜੀ ਹੈ ਤ
ਦੋ ਸੋ ਬਾਈ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਸਤਾਸੀ ਵੀ ਹਲਾ ਕੇ ਵਿੱਚਿਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਕਣਕ ਦਾ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਧੀ ਬਜਾਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਹੱਥੇ ਸੀਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਨਾਲ ਵਾਲੇ ਕੇਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੀਜੀ ਸੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਗਵਾਂਢੀ ਨੇ ਬਾਹ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸੁਪਰ ਸੀਟ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਦਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਉਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਸਾਰੀ ਕਣਕ ਵਿਛ ਗਈ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਹੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਸੁਪਰ ਸੀਡਰ ਕ੍ਰੋਪ ਇਜ਼ ਲੋਜਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਐਸ ਹਿਸ ਓਨ ਫੀਲਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਹੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਹੈਪੀ ਸੀਡਰ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਟੋਲ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਵਿਕਣ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ now you see the next farmers experience he has also sown with happy seeder and you see the condition of his crop and you see this field where he followed the super seeder method and he is also explaining that expenditure is less in this case and happy seeder where is in super seeder the expenditure is more then you see this one kisan bhaiyo namaskar main vikas choudhary gaon traudi jila karnal se hu aur main he is from karnal sitr se gehu ki bijai karta hu aur aaj 25 march 2023 hai kyunki hamare yahan kal raat bhi bahut achhi barish aayi aur usse pehle bhi ek hafta pehle bahut achhi barish aayi hai aur jo ye meri variety dekh rahe hain aap ye dbw 327 hai और इसके पीछे ठीक पीछे है एच डी 32 एच डी 32 26 वैरायटी है जो कि थोड़ी सी टॉल है इससे बिल्कुल भी मेरे खेत में कहीं भी ये वैरायटी नहीं गिरी जबकि मैं पड़ोसी खेत की बात करूं मेरे किसान भाई की तो उसकी जो वैरायटी है एच डी 29 साठ वो इस ऊपर से उतरते बोई गई है और जो कि वो गिर चुकी है जिसमें भी नुकसान बैठेगा जरूर बैठेगा तो यही कहना चाहूंगा कि किसान भाइयों को आने वाले समय में हैप्पी सीटर से ही गेहूं की बिजाई करने के लिए जिससे कि उनका नुकसान ना हो हां जी सशिकाल जी मैं गुरप्रीत सिंह सिद्धू पिंड महराज कि आज अपना सो ही इज आल्सो एक्चुअली शोइंग हिज एक्सपीरियंस सो वी हैव टू मूव ऑन ही हैज सेड दैट ऑल द फार्मर्स हैव सेड वी हैव सेवरल वीडियोस एंड रिपोर्ट्स आल्सो इट सेज दैट मल्चिंग इज इफेक्टिव and uh, super seeder uh, is uh, actually not compatible uh, or not effective when it comes to losing so you see in the report also no loss to wheat crop in moga sown with mulching technique whereas in others you can see there is a <coughs> apprehension the yield will be lesser this time because of losing where this happy seeder and uh, the wheat is not sown through the happy seeder technology so now you see the technology which we have tested and found suitable only then we go for demonstration and in case of super seeder it has directly gone for our adopted by the farmers because of the uh, obvious reasons the field looks very good but they have not experienced when uh, last year they experienced the heat then more loss was there this year they have experienced the rain then uh, due to wind speed uh, the losing is more in their field so technology now you have to demonstrate it so uh, demonstration you know we are going to time is uh, very less so there are two types of demonstration if you go method demonstration the gel demonstration and method demonstration we demonstrate that how to carry out a new technique or old technique in a better way so in result demonstration we compare the results of 
demonstrations uh, of particular technology whether in here and we can say various uh, method of sewing or in other say we can variety you can say breed all these things can be uh, the comparison is essential here so uh, in result demonstration we show the potential productivity of the particular technology or practice so we actually conduct the demonstrations or you can say frontline extension system the kvk used to conduct or university they conduct frontline demonstration why because this is a demonstration which is conducted by under the supervision of scientists of national agricultural research system and the technology which are demonstrated it is for the first time that is why called frontline uh, by the scientists themselves therefore it is known as frontline demonstration so newly raised technology is essential and the second one here scientists can uh, identify the what are the contributing factors for higher uh, production and what are the constraints in the production all these things so all kinds of data should be and so conduct at least in one to two hectare now it is not possible for uh, you can say in uh, uh, in these areas uh, hilly areas so the area may become but the uh, idea behind this if we have more area under the uh, fld then the impact will be demonstrated easily so <clears throat> here we have to take the technology which is actually of national importance and having local relevance so there are various steps we are not going to discuss all these things with planning phase so you have to select the technologies uh, uh, where you are going to conduct select the technologies all these then demonstration site select demonstration farmers so in every case farmer is important so finalize the package of practice and prepare for demonstration and then conduct the here then you have to lay out the demonstration all these field harvesting day, follow up phase, then record keeping so information related to farmer and the technical level related to the uh, production all these things so this is what you want to share with you any query most welcome Thank you, sir, for this wonderful lecture and practical experiences of Atari and KVK systems. You can, all the participants, you can uh, see the uh, practical example what Atari and KVK system is doing in the field. Uh, it is uh, mainly concerned to the Punjab. So, uh, same kind of situation maybe in other uh geographical areas also so if there is some questions or query you can ask directly to sir or post in the chat box i think there are many people from kvk system also so if they want to clarify something on OFTM and FLD, they can ask here. If there is no question, uh, then we will end up the meeting here. Uh, thank you, Arvin sir, for sparing your valuable time because uh, Atari people are all time busy. So it's very hard to give a lecture and uh, spare so much of time. But still, he has uh, spared his valuable time. And thank you for that, sir. Uh, th thank you, one and all, for joining us today. And we will meet again at uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you. I'm Thank you for giving me opportunity to share our experience to all the uh, participants across the country. Thank you very much.